Hello friends, welcome to the new lecture series of Apache Spark. In our previous lecture series, we already gone through big data related stuffs like introduction to big data and HDFS component. In this lecture series, we will understand what is Apache Spark and how to install Apache Spark, what are the different components of Apache Sparks and we will learn different operation related to Apache Spark like uh, SQL, SQL streaming and uh, machine learning libraries so just let us start today with a basic introduction of what is Apache Spark so Apache Spark is a unified analytics engine for large scale data processing so if you see the definition it is called unified analytics engine for large scale data processing large data, uh, unified analytics means it is a uh, same uh, it is the same platform where we can do different type of analytics using different uh, things uh, different things like sql streaming machine learning library if you go through databricks documentation you will find out that they have divided the spark mainly on two uh, things first on big data analytics another is on machine learning in big data analytics you can have ETL processing SQL as well as the streaming and on the machine learning side we can have MLib library that is provided by Apache Spark as well as R so going back to the history it has been created by AMP lab which is now known as Databricks and Spark is written in Scala it was open sourced in 2010 under Apache license and uh, I can tell you that it is one of the top notch project of Apache right now. It focused on interactive querying, iterative programs and unifying real time and batch processing. So what do you mean by interactive query? Interactive querying means that uh, the query which are like uh, which we run on command lines we can say like this actually we will understand more on interactive query iterative programs and real time and batch processing in our uh, uh, later videos but in this video we just understand it like uh, we can write a SQL and we can run interactively and we will create some data frames and do some calculations some aggregation whatever we want to do iterative programs in the sense we can run uh, lines of codes with different modules that are connected to each others and real-time and batch processing in the sense uh, we will run program that is scheduled and real-time in the sense uh, we have some real-time data in like uh, uh, logs file logs that is generated continuously and we will try to do some kind of uh, ML stuff on this uh, real-time data we can have some streaming data also like uh, uh, video streaming that that is also can be used for our uh, for our analytics purpose so dividing spark on three main categories first one is speed so spark extend the popular map reduce model to efficiently support more types of computation which include it which includes interactive queries and stream processing I would like to clear one thing that there is a um, whenever we study Hadoop and spark we have a misconception that uh, Spark is the uh, enhancement or modified version of Hadoop and MapReduce but it is not like this Spark itself is a different uh, entity and Hadoop is a different thing the idea is that we can use uh, we can use or uh, we can utilize the Hadoop infrastructure for Spark but we can use uh, Spark as a standalone system so these are the misconception that normally floats that uh, people combined Hadoop and Spark as the same thing and uh, and some people uh, consider it as a, a component of Hadoop so it's completely different it is it's a different tool that also works similar to what we have uh, in map reduce processing but it's one of the enhanced and modified version of map reduced and when we say map reduce it has some drawbacks like we can't do interactive queries and in stream stream processing in map reduce but all these loopholes has been cleared by uh, we can say removed by apache spark 
Spark has the ability to run computation in memory and the system is also faster than MapReduce for complex application running on disk as well. So when we say Spark is faster than MapReduce, it is said that on um, in memory computation when we do calculation one on MapReduce another on Spark and if Spark is doing the calculation on in memory it is almost 100 times faster than MapReduce and when both are doing on disk it is 10 times faster. We will come to know why Spark is faster than MapReduce in our upcoming lectures but for now for the time being just understand Spark is faster than uh, MapReduce and one more thing MapReduce does not work in in memory but Spark has ability to run in memory so you have multiple of question in your mind like if uh, uh, memory get completely utilized will the program crash so the Spark developers who has developed the Sparks has kept all these things in mind and we will understand how they uh, how they um, manage all these things in our upcoming videos it runs everywhere. Spark runs on Hadoop, Mesos, NoSQL or in the cloud. It can access diverse data sources including HDFS, Cassandra, HBase and SL. S3. It is designed to be highly accessible offering simple APIs in Scala, Python, Java, R and SQL and rich built-in libraries. This is one of the benefits of Spark. If you see here, Spark can connect to MySQL, Postgres, Hadoop, HBS, Cassandra, MongoDB, Redis, Kafka, whatever. So these all tools provide us a different flavor and Spark can connect and use that flavor. So this is one of the main advantage of using the Spark. And when you say if you want to write some codes in a Spark, you can write it either in Scala, Python, Java, R and SQL. And, and the most important idea behind is that using your programming language depends on what kind of program you want to run. It, it, suppose I want to go for uh, some machine learning stuff, you can go for Python. If you want to do some engi data engineering kind of stuff, you can go for a Scala. So depending on your problem, you can choose your programming language and, try and, and use the rich diverse libraries of Spark in your programming language and Spark already has API built for each of them. Unified platform of we already understood its combined SQL streaming and complex analytics. Spark powers a stack of libraries including SQL and data frames, MLIP for machine learning, graphics and Spark stream. Spark connectivity we already understood how it is connected to different different uh, databases, uh, storage systems and streaming, uh, streaming tools like Kafka. So where, who are all using uh, Spark and where are they being used? Internet powerhouses such as Netflix, Yahoo and eBay have deployed Spark at massive scale. They collectively process multiple petabytes of data on cluster of over 8000 nodes. It has quickly become the largest open source community in big data with over 1000 contributors from 2050 plus organizations. So nothing to make you understand in this one. It's completely straightforward. And what is the Apache Spark ecosystem? If you see, if you see here, we have Spark SQL data frames. We have a streaming. It has machine learning library libraries. We have graphics, and we have a Spark Core, and the different programming languages are there. So when you suppose you are doing some kind of stuff on Spark SQL and try to connect Python, Python using Python. We have different kinds of APIs. We have different kinds of APIs for Python as well as Scala, Java, SQL and R. So you can use any of this stuffs and connect to the Python or Scala or, or uh, uh, SQL or Java or R. But uh, one thing we should keep in mind that there are a few things that is available in Python that is not available in Scala. Few things are available in Scala, not available in Python. And uh, uh, I can you give you an example. Data set is available in Java as well as Scala, but it's not available for Python. Few of the machine learning libraries are available in Python, but they are not available in Scala and Java. So, but Apache Spark is working to 
produce these things in all variant languages and it will be available soon so this is all about introduction to apache spark in our next lecture we will try to understand its complete architecture rdd and other stuff we will do some hands on coding on also on apache spark friends if you like this video kindly share like and subscribe my channel thank you thanks a lot